Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to change Roblox privacy settings. I actually showed you last week we did a Roblox one and it was on how to change your friend's name on your Roblox in there on your Roblox friends list. This time we're going to go over how to change Roblox privacy settings and we're going to be using the website today, um, roblox.com. And I'm going to do a separate video to show you how to do it on the app. I know some people want to just know about the app way or they want to do the website. So I decided to separate it this time. All right, we're going to do it on the website. But before we get going, hit the like on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out any new videos we come out with every Thursday. All right, we all want to get into this, so let's jump on in. So first, you want to go over to your Roblox account, which I already have mine open. If you're not signed into your account, make sure you hit sign in and get in here so once you're in you're gonna be on your home screen and once you're on your home screen look to the top right for the gear icon click on that and then setting this list will come up and then you want to click on settings that's where we want to go to so you click on settings and then once you're in settings you're going to be in, usually at your account info stuff at the top which i blurred all out uh, and you're going to go down three you want to go to privacy this is the privacy settings um, screen all right now we're on privacy settings now what can you do here Good question. First thing is account restrictions. So account restrictions are disabled. So basically I don't need that on because I'm over the age of 13. <laughs> so it's when this setting is enabled, this account can only access content that is appropriate for all audiences. Additionally, communication settings will be set to off. So when this is on, this is for people under 13 usually, um, and it will it will turn off communications so no one can communicate with them, which I think is important if you have a kid to turn it off on their account. I know, I know they're smart. They probably turn it back on, but usually you want to turn this off. You don't want to have people communicating with your young child. So first thing, what we're going to do, since mine is normal, um, and if you have this information here, you're going to go down here, communication set to default. I don't mess with that that much. You can turn it off just like they would do up here. If you click the arrow, you can customize it or off. I just leave it on default. Here you can, who can message me? So if you click the arrows next, the down arrows to the right of each item, it gives you everyone, friends, users I follow, and my followers, friends and users I follow, or just friends, or no one can uh, message me. So you can go down the line. This one is who can text chat with me in an app, who can text chat with me with me just that's it i was thought there was gonna be more words my brain went that way so so you can mess with the communication part here if you don't have it turned off you can actually set it to who can actually communicate with you which i think is a good thing to do then you scroll down a little bit you can connect with contacts this is off your phone so if you want to connect your phone to the um, roblox it will take your contacts off your phone and put it in here which i don't really like so roblox uses contacts to help you and your contacts find each other on roblox they don't need that information i would not recommend connecting your phone but that's your choice so we're going to go down you have ad preferences this wasn't here when i did the article i'll have the link down below for the article but this wasn't here last time so this is your ad preferences you can turn them off or whatever you would like i i'm not going to go over this too much here but you can look at this part for your ad preferences and you go down here this is the next part i would other settings is where we're going to look who can make me a member of their private server just like before you click the down arrow next and you can pick who can do that um, who can join me in experiences which is basically the games that's what experiences are um, who can join you and then update friends about my activity i don't have that on i don't need my friends know what i'm doing <laughs> so you can it will send them a notification saying what they're doing uh, who can see my inventory um it could be everyone or whatever you want to do and that's the that's the settings area down below is the last thing on the settings screen is the account deactivation uh, if you want to deactivate the account that's how you do it um, but make sure you really want to do that because <laughs> It's gone. You're done. Deactivate the account. I don't know if it's really gone. It says while well, deactivated, your profile will be hidden. So I guess it doesn't delete it and you will not be able to use Roblox. So I'm not deactivating mine, but those are the settings you can mess with on your Roblox account. Just in case you wanted to make sure certain people aren't communicating with you. Uh, I understand that. I don't want someone who's not my friend to communicate with me. Um, the text chat, of course, that means everybody in chat can talk back and forth. That makes sense. And then your um, other settings is all these who can make a member all that we read that so just go through here change them to the way you like them um, there is no save button to hit you just kind of change it so let's say i change this to uh 
friends and users I follow. There you go. So you can do that. You see, it's automatically saved successfully. I'm going to turn it back to what I had it. So there you go. And then it gives you that green save successfully done. So that's it. That's how easy it is to um, change your Roblox privacy settings. And that's it. And I'm going to do another video. I'll put a link down below when that video is done on how to do it on your app. But thanks for watching. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.